Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video. In this video, we are going to talk about TablePress plugin, which allows us to embed beautiful tables to our WordPress posts. And I'm going to show you via tutorial on how to do that. So let's get started. So basically, with TablePress, you can create and manage beautiful tables. It allows you to embed tables into posts, pages or text widgets. In this video, we are going to review how to use this plugin alongside with its main features and functionality, which make this plugin a, such an incredible tool. First things first, let's install this plugin. Go to your admins dashboard, then click on plugins and then finally click on add new. Afterward, on the search line, type table press, and here we go. Here is the plugin we need to install. Just click on install, then activate. This was basically everything about the installation process. Now we have, have it and we can start using it. Table press is completely free, which is one of the main benefits of this plugin. And if you look over here, you can see that TablePress added to our WordPress dashboard with a couple of options under its submenu, which are all tables, add a new table, import a table, export a table, plugin options, and about TablePress. So, assume it is time to create our first table. For that, we need to click on add a new table, and this will redirect us to this page. First tab is to name the table, here it is, then there is a tab of adding a description, then there are number of rows and columns. Afterward, just click on add a table and you have your table here. You can click on preview button, but before we do that, let's add some data inside, because now it is completely empty and it just makes no sense. The data can be added under the tab table content. Uh, let's put some random text inside, just for the sake of testing this plugin. Under the top table manipulation, we are able to see multiple adjustments we can make to the table, such as inserting an image. Let's click on it. There we will have an option to upload files or choose images from the media library. Let's add, for example, this image. Again, just a random one. Now we can see some sort of an HTML code inside the table. Actually, it is an image we just added, do not worry about that. We can grab this tab from over here and expand it as far as we need it to be, in order for our image to be more visually pleasing and generally visible to the users. Inside the code, we can see image source code, alt text class, alongside with width and height of the image, which we can change right inside it, depending on what size we want the final image to be. To save all the adjustments you are making, just click on the Save Changes button, which is located over here. Now, where is our table that we just created? Uh, how to add it to the post? Do not worry, it is quite simple to do. To add a table to your post, first of all, go to your post. In our case, I will just create a new one, name it, then go back to our table press, copy the short code over here and come back to our post to paste it. Then we can click publish the post and here we can see new features. The features that were enabled by default but we couldn't see how those work from the backend, now we can see how users can play around with those. One good feature about this plugin is that if you have large amounts of data and you want to make it sorted and more organized so that users will be able to easily find everything, you need to go to features of the data tables JavaScript library. And under this tab, we can see multiple features that allow us to search or filter the data. By default, these are all enabled. We can sort the table by price, flavor, brand, etc. Any option you find not useful, you can just disable from the features of the data tables JavaScript library tab. Let's, for example, turn off this one and go back to preview, refresh it. 
and as you can see now it is gone but this is not just it you can add links to your tables and style it with this plugin as well if we go back to the dashboard you can see insert link button with which you can insert any links you want mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at the customization and style options of this table. Under the tab Plugin Options, we can add a custom CSS, which will change the overall appearance of our table from the uh, front end. So this was basically it. This was everything about the tutorial on how to create tables via TablePress. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, do not forget to share this video with your friends or colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Grant us thumbs up and check out the description down below in order to find the links to TaylorPress plugin and to our WordPress blog, where you can read many interesting articles related to WordPress. See you in the next video. Bye.